A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King, Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Monday of the second week of Easter. The Church celebrates today the, the Feast of St. Mark the Evangelist. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo SVD, Shrine Rector. Our celebration will now begin. Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. The Church rejoices uh, this celebration of Saint, the Feast of St. Mark Evangelist. Through his narrative of the life ministry and ministry of Jesus, we come to have a greater grasp of who Christ is. And the same challenge for all of us and for all generations to come to know better Jesus Christ our Lord. At the beginning of this celebration, we ask God's mercy and pardon for the sins we have committed. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh, 
Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favors on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that He may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon Him, because He cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. To God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory, through Christ Jesus, will himself restore confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name, they rejoice all the day, and through your justice, they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. We honor the Holy Gospel. Our Pascal Lamb, 
has been sacrificed. Let us then peace with joy in the The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. The signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Then the Lord said, after he spoke to them, he was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through the accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day to all of you, dear brothers and sisters, and also our fellow worshipers in other parts of the world joining us through this live stream from the shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word. The evangelist Mark, sometimes identified also as John Mark, is thought to be a son of a personality in Jerusalem, uh, Mary of Jerusalem, and according to uh, commentaries that he belonged to a family, a Hellenized family of Jerusalem, who placed his house at the disposition of the first Christians. Some even think that uh, it is possible that this house opened uh, to Christ and to his disciples as the place, a possible place of the so-called Last Supper of the Lord. And uh, Mark accompanied uh, Paul in his missionary, first missionary journey. Uh, but uh, it seems that uh, there, were, there was a conflict between them and he did not participate the uh, this missionary journey of Paul with enthusiasm he returned later on to Jerusalem alone and there was a uh, controversy or uh, animated discussion between Paul and Barnabas about him about Mark on the occasion of their planning of the second uh, missionary journey of Paul. It is uh, also known that he followed uh, St. Peter to Rome and afterwards placed himself at uh, his uh, service, now, especially during his imprisonment. And again, finally, he would place himself at the service of Paul during his, also his imprisonment. 
Mark presents Jesus known through the experience of his own disciples and apostles. A question arises to present Jesus to the world even today. Who is he? No. It is a gospel conceived in a very special perspective or light. That of, we see, for example, in this uh, presentation of who Jesus is, that uh, contrast, painful contrast between Christ, who with uh, clothed with the uh, uh, power of healing, forgiveness, and victory over the demons, but at the same time also presents him as someone mocked by people who was uh, also present the downfall of Jesus. When uh, the opportunity presents itself, Mark does not hesitate to present also or to show the same opposition not only on the larger circle but also to his own of his own group of disciples and his own family itself. And Mark presents this scandalous contrast with the very Paschal mystery itself by showing that in it a profound dynamics or law of God's plan is fulfilled which is also found in every Christian vocation. The gospel of the humiliated and opposed Messiah suffering and crucified led paradoxically to the confession of faith of that centurion witness at his crucifixion he is truly the son of God it is that he saw behind the suffering person the son of God probably this is also the conviction of Saint Mark that he saw the the Messiah in this suffering person Mark is the evangelist who highlights more than any of those evangelists the betrayal committed by Judas and the denial of Peter selling Christ and refusing to recognize him in our brothers and sisters also lurks behind every one of our Eucharistic celebration or supper and maybe this is a, a reminder for all of us that uh, who fo who try to follow Christ also as a warning that uh, yes we may follow like his disciples but we should also be careful and aware that we can become Judas or Peter Amen Mark proclaimed the good news of the true Messiah, Jesus Christ. Let us ask the Father to hear our intentions for a world in need of the hope of the gospel. 
For every prayer, let our response be, Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the Church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. We pray. Let your, Let your goodness, goodness be, be upon, upon us, Lord. That those who wandered away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let we pray. Let your, Let your goodness, goodness be, be upon us, us, Lord. That young people may hear the voice of our Lord, calling them to conversion and to a life of service. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That all those who are suffering or sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. We pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. For the medical experts, scientists, and researchers, that they may be able to continue to develop more effective and affordable vaccines for everyone as soon as possible so that everyone may be protected against contracting the virus while those who are already infected will be healed and there will be no more further transmissions we pray let your goodness be upon us lord that the dead may pass through the gate of the ship foam and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls, we pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. And for peace in the world, the end of war, and for a successful, honest election in our country, we pray. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Almighty God, assisted by the prayers of St. Mark, faithful herald of the Gospel, we bring our intentions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that this our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, <clears throat> of His whole holy church. As we venerate the glory of Saint Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise 
and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your holiness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. fund of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those we remember in this Mass. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Mark, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be, be done on earth, on earth as it is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter, enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we, we confess, confess our, our sins, sins and we humbly come to you to find, find forgiveness in life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you, we ask you now, now to look upon us with love and by your, by your healing hand, hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray, we pray that, that you guide the people to find, find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our, our efforts, efforts to use the medicines, medicines developed develop to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We, we pray, pray for our health workers, workers that they may minister to the sick with, with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection, protection from the disease. We, we pray, pray for, for those, those afflicted, afflicted. May, may they be restored to health. Protect, protect those, those who care, who care for them, for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you. In the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
we fly, we fly to your protection, protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Janssen and Joseph Reinademitz, pray for us. Saint Mark, pray for us. Please be seated for the announcement. Our schedule of Masses are as follows. Mondays to Saturdays, 6.30 a.m. and 6 p.m. Sundays, 6 a.m., 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 4 p.m., and 6 p.m. Confession every Saturday at 5 p.m. Confession every Sunday, 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. The Parish Pastoral Council for Voting PPCRV of the Shrine, a nonpartisan and citizen watchdog group accredited by the Com Commission of, on Election under the Roman Catholic Church that seek to ensure free, fair, and honest elections is in need of volunteers. You may register at www.beat.ly shrine pppcrv or message us at the shrine facebook page thank you reverend father ronnie chrysostomo svd shrine rector please rise the lord be with you may almighty god bless you your loved ones your work and activities the father the son and the holy spirit Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Trying God live and reign in our hearts. Saint Joseph Renatimus, Saint Arnold Jansen, Saint Mark Evangelist. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.